Today I'm gonna walk through Central Park above 96th Street in the middle of winter and we're gonna come in through this entrance which says it's not a park entrance but whatever we're rebels follow along And evidently it really isn't a park entrance because it leads to this cul-de-sac thing. So we're gonna go and find another entrance. Okay, now we found an actual entrance. Are you a kid? Come to this playground. Do you just want to act like a three-year-old? Come to this playground. Are you walking around Fifth Ave and you need to pee? Come use this bathroom. All of these green trees have clearly forgotten that it is February or in New York. It's either that or my lack of understanding how trees work and how certain trees work in winter is severely lacking. You can't see it now because of course it's you know covered in snow but normally there are a couple of fields here where people can hang out and play there's an actual soccer field I think over there somewhere around there's some tennis courts um, but I mention all this because normally when people go to Central Park for the most part I, do, I feel like they don't hang around by the 100th Street area that much they're usually in the Central Park that's in like the 80s and below. But there's a lot of open space up here. So if that area gets crowded, just come to the Central Park that's in like the high, like the high 90s and the uh, low 100s. Might be empty. Yo, so we got the fields over here, so uh, if you're in New York and you want to play a little bit of soccer, well, field, fields are wide open, now is the perfect time for you to come and, uh, yeah, not play any soccer at all. Maybe have a snowball fight. I think that Stuart Little was lucky that he went to Central Park in a season that was not winter because he would have frozen his poor little mouse tail off and then gotten eaten by the cats. Okay, so now we're walking more towards the west side. Let's go under that arch.
Man, that was spooky. So this is the North Woods part of the park and basically it looks like you're somewhere upstate, somewhere outside of the city when you're here because you're fully surrounded by nature. Uh, it feels like you are in the woods when you're in this area of the park. So I'm looking around, I'm seeing dark colored squirrels, black squirrels, gray squirrels, all sorts of birds, this really cool red bird that's flying around, animals and critters are hanging out on the ice and on the frozen water. So for anybody who says that New York isn't green enough for them, just needs to go to Central Park and needs to go to the upper part of Central Park because there is so much wildlife here and it is cute and it's really, really dope. There's so much wildlife here that I've seen about seven or eight people in the last five minutes who are carrying full professional camera gear with them because they're trying to just capture all the photos of it because it's so abundant here even in the middle of February. Check out this black squirrel. There's an arch over here that's closed, 
But do you know what we can see instead? Check this out. Man, Central Park is really freaking big. Okay, that's it. We've made our way through most of this upper portion of Central Park, so we are done-zo. I'll see you in the next video.